Have you ever been sick and tried believing God for a miracle? Or facing some kind of circumstance that uh, without miraculous intervention there was going to be real trouble? We find that in the Gospels, Jesus is only hindered from working miracles because of one thing. And it's not because of the sin that people were doing, but it was simply because they didn't believe in him. The scripture says in Mark chapter 6 that Jesus went to his own hometown, Nazareth. And it says that he could, in fact, I'll read it to you, 6 verse 5. It said, because of their unbelief, he couldn't do any miracles among them except to place his hands on a few sick people and heal them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. See, this, this scripture and the ministry of Jesus makes it very clear that the only thing that stops the ministry of healing from flowing through Jesus is unbelief. You may say, well, how do I, how do I get rid of the unbelief? Well, you spend time in God's Word because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word. And you believe what the Word says above what you feel or what anybody else tells you. And when you activate your faith, healing flows. And we, we look at the man that came to Jesus for his son who kept throwing himself in the fire because he was uh, vexed, the scripture says, by a devil. And, and Jesus said, uh, to him who believes, all things are possible. And this man who was torn on the inside looked at Jesus and he said, I believe, but help my unbelief. And you know what Jesus did? Jesus healed that young man and cast that devil out of that boy at that moment. So no matter where you are today in your faith, ask Jesus to help you in your unbelief. When you look back through all of the gospel accounts of Jesus, you never find him once refusing to heal anyone. He always healed everyone who came to him. Now sometimes he had to move them into faith in order to do that, but he never turned them down because they weren't doing the right things. But he did marvel because they did not believe that he could heal them. Unbelief is the only thing that stops God from moving on our behalf. So let's rid ourselves of unbelief. Let's feast on God's word. Feed our faith and starve our doubts so that we can receive everything that God wants to give us. Have a grace-filled day. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.